Hey, what's going on? It's Boss Brit the Most Lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel. And this is... The No Homo Show. Where everything we talk about is homo as f Gay, 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 gay. What it do, gay bees? We back at it again. Like, subscribe, comment. We on our two-year shit right now, y'all. We definitely are on our two-year shit. Brand new bitches. Like, no, we the same. We the same ones. We the same ones. Okay. I'm tired of being the same bitch. I mean to say it was. Now I was say our shit look way different. Yeah. Compared we, to two years ago. Yeah, when we look at clips from uh two years ago, it do look a little different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna keep elevating, y'all. Shout out to y'all for supporting us. Yeah, facts, facts. To infinity to go. So y'all see we smoking hookah. I don't know how we doing it because we just got back from Vegas. Anybody can smoke a hookah. Hey, I got my voice still. I'm proud of me for that. So, yeah, v Vegas was a vibe. First of all, Vegas is hot as hell. It's literally hot as the devil's balls, y'all. I hate when she said that. Like, I just feel like his balls on my forehead. Like, See, I feel like you're devil, just going deeper and deeper into some The devil shit. was teabagging me <laughs> in Vegas. <laughs> it it kind of was like, yo, if you're not getting in the pool, you don't need to be outside unless you're just, like, going through, like, a hotel to walk somewhere else yes we did walk like about 10 minutes to a store i wanted to go to and it was hot, it was hot we made shit. it yeah we made it though. um the parking lot feels like there's no air at night how can i breathe as well like <laughs> yeah it ain't getting no cooler no no it might have got hotter at night i looked at when i did a video at night and i posted i put the degrees on there it said uh 106 degrees i believe it it's not a joke. I see why they say stay hydrated, because at first I'm like, stay hydrated, I got this shit. But no, like, really, you got to stay hydrated, because we was day partying, day drinking, and yeah, I couldn't even hang like I used to. Shit. I used to could hang a whole day in Vegas, talking about 3 a.m. type hang. 6 a.m. See, this is the thing about me. I'm on some, like, I don't take naps regularly, but if I am day drinking and I have to turn up at night i definitely need yeah, a time even if i don't go to sleep to like sit my ass down and rest my body no for real because <laughs> because yeah. girl what <laughs> but definitely shout out to house of vegas pride yeah. congrats to them i believe this is just their third year i believe don't quote me on that they're still new so they're still building but big ups to nicole for always bringing us out supporting yeah. us um y'all know we was nominated for an award yeah for the best podcast hold on and we ain't win that. Hold nah. up, hold up. Y'all got me messed up. I'm playing. Hold up. We're gonna we gonna we gonna talk about this, but we're gonna put it on our Patreon, all okay. right? Cause okay. I know y'all messy. Yeah, yeah. If, if at least if you gonna send the clip and put it out there, yeah. at least at least be subscribed to our Patreon, all right? Yeah, let's get into it real quick. Cause that was rigged. What's up, y'all? The No Homo Show got some exciting, exclusive news for you. That's right. This is for all of our gabies and all of our loyal supporters. We are dropping an exclusive channel on Patreon, and we want you to get the first chance to have the first dibs on it. Listen, we're going to be showing you exclusive content. We're going to have a community group chat to talk about some things we cannot talk about on here. Okay. What else can we tell them? Okay, we're going to give them access to our studio. Hold on. So some of y'all are going to have access to our live interviews in the studio. Yeah. So y'all going to pull up and y'all going to meet and greet and we going we going to get into these people's business. Yeah, yeah. You might even have a chance to ask them a question or two. I think you should sign up today, y'all. Yeah, also we're going to have a guidance from the gate god chat once a month online so we can talk about y'all problems in person in real time. In real time. Cuz we got to get y'all this advice, y'all. All right, but we're not going to tell nobody about this. This is only with us gay bees That's in right. the community, all right? <laughs> so go sign up for it right now. We're super excited. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get into Skittles and Red Let's get it. <laughs> and uh, we might have already did this, y'all. We got to cut out some more, so uh, bear with us. <laughs> Listen, this is the thing. We was... I didn't know I didn't know the answer, but we was reading the questions off, and I'm like, yo, at this point, I don't even know if we did this or not. Either oh, way, I, if we did, I probably still gonna get it wrong. Yeah. So if we did do this, yeah. this is your second chance to get it second right. Second chance, cause we on sixty, so like, I don't I don't remember none of these shit. It could be last week. <laughs> I don't remember what that riddle was, and you don't need this, so just act okay. like you don't know. What do you call lesbian twins? 
You know what's even crazier is that I just read his answer and I don't know, I don't remember what it was. I hate you. Lesbian twins. First of all, we know a few lesbian we twins. We do. And transgender twins. It's crazy. That guys. is so ironic that I literally just read this answer and I, I don't know. Lesbian twins. <laughs> what did it say? Let me think. No, you can't oh, say what okay. you. <laughs> I think I all remember right. what it said. What okay. do you call lesbian twins? Kondike bar. Kondike? Do you know what Kondike bar is? Yeah, the ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, but like break it down to me. It's a dike. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. Do, okay. do it come with two pieces? That's what I'm thinking, like do it come with two I pieces? I don't know. I <laughs> thought it did. Sandwich. You know how like Twix you get to? Ooh, a Twix sound good right now. Like I hate you. All right, all right. From your response, that ain't it. Okay. Um. Uh. Um. All right. I do know the answer. Though. Right. I can't. I can't guess. I can't even act like I don't know. Give I, us I a remember. clue. Start with an L. I hate you. <laughs> it got the terminology in it. Lesbo twins. Close. Les twins. I think that is it. Let's see. <laughs> I think that's it. Something what, like that. What's the number? First of all, if that's the answer, that sucks. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, that ends at 58. Did you cut out the answer too? Or is Look it on, on, the other, on okay. this one, yeah. I think that was the answer. Don't get me wrong, y'all. Y'all know I smoke a lot. We do a lot of edibles. <laughs> Brent, that has nothing to do with the answer. It don't? No. Ah! <laughs> Got it. I hate you. What is the answer? Liquor likes. Not look alike, look alike. Oh, ah. That's funny. Bitch, you didn't. I thought that. I remembered it. I did. I was going to say Les Twins. No. Look alikes. Look alikes. <laughs> okay, period. That wasn't bad. Look alikes. Nah, that was cool. That was cute. That was cute. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that on that. Hope y'all got it right. If you didn't, take a shot. We're not drinking today. Y'all. Because we... our whole um, liver is still in Vegas. So when it gets back, <laughs> we'll next tell y'all. I'll drink again. All right, today's episode <laughs> is do we think karma is a real thing? Mm -hmm. You know, and before we get into it, let me just break down a simple definition for y'all that might not understand, <laughs> all right? Your previous actions define the fate in your future. Oof. Okay? Very, it's... It's kind of like you got to have some morals to believe in karma. Mm. You know what I mean? And I think, tell me if I'm right. Like, like I think karma is the same thing like what happens in the dark comes to light. Absolutely. Okay, great. Boom We're rang. on the same page. Okay, period. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in karma? Absolutely, 110,000%. That's why I had to change a lot of my toxic ways because I was trying to attract better energy and better people around me because I used to be toxic. I was like, yo, I got to quit lying. I got to quit cheating because everything that I ever did, Not you a liar. it came back. Yeah. Motherfucker lied to me. Motherfucker cheated on me. So I had to, if I say, Hurt your yo, little heart. Hurt my little heart. So I'm like, yo, if I want to receive the right love, energy, all that, I got to stop being such a red flag. Right. And we're going to get to that. Yeah. I'm 10% red flag now. 90% of it's gone. Okay. <laughs> I definitely believe in karma to the extent of like, if I, all right, maybe not the water at the bottom of the cart, right? But I'm going to get to it. All right. If I walk out the store at the water at the bottom of the cart, I feel hey, guilty. Oh, hey, it is what it is. I don't feel guilty Sometimes all day, I feel like though. God put that there because. No, don't put it on God. <laughs> don't put it on God. See? See? Hey, but, <laughs> but. If I purposely was like holding on to something and walked out, I yeah. feel so guilty. I'll be like, yeah. I f anything happens to me after that, I feel like that's my karma instantly. Yeah. No, all day. If it's water at the bottom, you I feel I guilty. Yes, bitch. Yes. I, I start. Is it I start like tricking my mind. I start tricking my mind like <laughs> Kroger. know they charge too much. <laughs> this yeah, this toxic. this five dollars I saved in this water. <laughs> yeah. That's just a discount. <laughs> you thought it was a blessing, look. <laughs> But no, for real, I believe in karma so much where like, I really, even if it's stuff that I think nobody would know or, you know, I mm. don't, oh, okay, period. Uh, <laughs> I still try not to do it. I still try not to do it, right? Yeah. But we gonna just go right right to where you were saying that you was yeah. a red flag. Mm -hmm. All right. I got a good karma story. We're going to get into that, oh, okay. but we're going to get to this question real quick. Okay, cool. Do you feel like 
you can change your karma or reverse your karma. Because how you said, like, you know, like, you was a red flag and now, like, you're changing your ways. Mm -hmm. If something happened to you now, would that be karma from before? That's what I was thinking, too. Like, is there a time frame? <laughs> like, you know, am I good to go? Have I got all of my karma? I feel like recently I've been receiving really good karma. So I feel like I, I should be good. <laughs> I think I got all my get backs. You feel me? I think God I didn't punish me you. enough for everything that I ever did. I feel like I am great to go. Yeah. And do you feel like karma, like, can't be equal? Like, what you did, like, that's kind of the same thing that happens to you? Or could karma come in a different... Yeah, I think it could come in different forms. And yeah. that's the thing when I be trying to figure out, like, all right, is this because of this or is this just because something else? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that is a really good question. Like, am I playing tricks on my own <laughs> self? Because, like, all right, what if I, like, all right, say if I cheat on somebody and then next week I get a flat tire. Like, is that my karma? Nah. Or is it just, like, I got a that's, flat tire? Yeah, that's you being cheap. You knew that shit was you going bald. Saying? But if I'm in a moment, I might have been like, damn, I should have never cheated last week because now I got a flat tire. And if I would have just never her. cheated, I would have got a flat her. tire. No, really maybe, if you would, maybe if you caught a flat tire. Going to a bitch house. Yes. Yep. Then it'd be like, God is don't want you to go there. And you keep <laughs> trying to find a way. Keep trying to find a way. And he's stopping you. I feel that. Yeah. So. <laughs> what you think? Can it be reversed? Oh, that's crazy, right? Because like, let's say this is not even, we're not even just talking cheating and stuff, right? Let's just say, for example, like somebody that killed somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And they did, j they did oh, jail damn. time yeah. and they got out of jail mm -hmm. and now they're like using the stuff they learned to like speak positivity and yeah, people Yeah, be a better stuff. person, yeah. I mean, the jail time obviously was their karma, you know? So yeah. it's, it's, they cancel each other out. You good now. Mm. So you think that's what I don't it is? Know. Like murder deep though. You feel me? Murder like yo, you deserve every damn piece of karma to the end damn, of your life. I think damn, murder different. Damn, murder all right, that, different. that was too deep. Murder different. Right, I just feel like you just I don't know. Okay, so I do feel like karma comes back to you, but I do mm -hmm. feel like eventually you can live a good path. So to you, my friend, you you might have canceled out your karmas yeah. and you might be on a clean slate right now. I am now. on a great slate. <laughs> I am on a good slate. I only get good karma. I don't get any bad karma. Okay. Well, I, I'm not I, investing that into the universe. And that's another thing people get like wrong. Like yeah. there's good and bad karma. Absolutely. So like you put good out, like good things happen to you that you don't expect. Mm -hmm. And you put bad out, bad yeah, shit happens that happen you don't expect. Ass, so. you but what you do out here. on the more red flag note, yeah. let's get into this karma, man. Okay. Hold up, I know y'all are enjoying the episode right now, but we want to talk a little more about ShopStarship.com. Yes, y'all, listen, we always talking about Starship. And we're going to keep talking about Starship. Why? Because you should go there, like, yesterday, okay? Whether you got a long-term relationship, whether you got a sneaky link, even if you just need personal needs. Listen, I encourage y'all to go to their hey, website gosh. because you're going to get the top of the top adult toys all right you need to add something new to that relationship baby i'm telling you sis. or you know just surprise your girl real quick okay you know so go to shopstarship.com right now mm -hmm. you get 15 percent off what i call no homo show 15 percent off no homo show hope y'all have a good night Ow. my story yeah let's get into it i know all you right. have plenty i have plenty but this one just this is the main, and I talked about it before, but I'm just, this is my best example of karma, y'all. This, I just feel like it was, it was definitely it, okay? So, but I got two situations. Go ahead, come on. Let me think about which one I want to do. Because the one actually turned out to be good. So All right, let me say the first bad one, karma the bad one. Good karma. All right, so I was dating these girls <laughs> at the same time, right? They so, didn't know. No, they did not I know. I hate you. I had one girl here in Atlanta and I think we was like in a relationship. I can't really remember. She said we was girlfriends, but I'm the type of person where I like, I get drunk and I'm in a club, I'm like, you my girlfriend. And people take that to heart and I- Uh, bitch, you <laughs> said, not people, you're manipulative. People take that to heart, but you hey, just said I'm your girlfriend. Hey, so I feel like- You one of them that say I love you during got, sex. Yes, and be like, I, I didn't mean that, but I, I love the sex. So I think things got misconstrued in that conversation because I don't remember us being in an official relationship, but according to her, we were, okay? So I boom. Hate her. I had this other girl who lived in Texas, okay? Now, I went to go, I, went, I didn't go to Texas to see the girl. I went to Texas to go to like some convention at the time. I was in like network marketing and shit. So I went to Texas and I linked up with you the girl. You should be here. 
<laughs> right, you should be here. So it was Kyle. You should be here. Put shout the sign right shout here. Out to all my World Ventures family out there, you know the vibes. You know That's what I'm saying. That's still repping, okay? Period. I learned so much from World Ventures. I have nothing bad to say about it. Y'all say what y'all want. But I went to Texas and I saw the girl while I was in a relationship with a girl, right? So I'm in Bro, Texas. This is your ten percent of the still being this a red my flag. I still ain't came to my senses. Yeah, on. Ah. <laughs> I might be a little delusional with this story, y'all, a little bit. So I'm in Texas. I chill with the girl. We link up. We had sex, okay? So boom. Then when I start talking to the Texas girl, I don't want to talk to the Atlanta girl no more because the Texas girl is more of my vibe. Okay. She's more of my. I was fucking with her, and then she found out. Wait, let's let me back up a little bit. All right, so I was in Texas, right? All right, so while I'm in Texas, I done had sex with a girl. And you told this her you're girl, her girlfriend. I didn't say that. I didn't tell her that. I, she know when she was my girl. <laughs> while I was in Texas with the Texas girl, another girl on Instagram DM me, right? So. I'm just like, you know, how does girl even find me? The girl is fine as hell, you feel me? I thought she was catfish. Yeah. So I told the girl, hey, call me on Face on uh, uh on Instagram. She called me on Instagram. She real. She real. I'm like, damn, it been fine, it been real. Oh, it's over, right? Hold on. So just to recap, yeah. you already had a girlfriend in Atlanta. Correct. You went to Texas, started vibing with the other girl. Yep. Now a different girl DM'd you and that lived in Atlanta. in Atlanta. She was in Atlanta as well. And you had FaceTime you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Whew. So when I got back from Texas, I linked with the girl who called me while I was in Texas. I linked with her on one day. The next day, she was my girlfriend. I hate you. Literally the next day. So how did you break up with... So I don't really remember what happened, how... I don't know if I ended up telling the Texas girl. I don't even know how the Atlanta girl found out. But these two girls from Atlanta and Texas, they were big on Twitter. This I got my Twitter following up. This kind of was a blessing in disguise, right? I hate her. So I got exposed on Twitter, right? I don't remember how it even got out. I don't know how the Atlanta girl found out. I don't know how the Texas girl found out. But they both basically exposed me on Twitter. And they was posting screenshots of our messages, talking about how I was saying I want to be with them. I want to work it out. Both of the girls, right? But... <laughs> But they were posting me and tagging me to the point where t Twitter's so toxic, everybody kept following me. I probably gained about two, 3,000 followers I hate you. off of going viral for being a cheater. a cheater. And them bitches was probably liking you too. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> They're like, shit, you cheat, I cheat I hate too. the internet. Like, hey, I cheat bad. Hey, I, I got my followers up, you feel me? So long story short, I started dating a girl, and that girl took You started me dating through. the girl in Atlanta. The girl that FaceTimed me, I started dating her. And that relationship was the most toxic shit I ever been in my entire life. I can co-sign that. The girl at the time, she was she was super, um, she was abusive towards me. She was an alcoholic. She was a liar. She was a cheater. It was the worst karma that I could have ever received. And I feel like it was because I did those two girls like how I did it. Cause I that karma that right that that relationship right there. Put you that through it. man, what? I was so depressed, y'all. After that, I never cheated again. I said I'm not doing it. Or even if I'm like talking to two girls at a, at the same time, now I'm being honest. Like, hey, yo, yeah. respectfully, I fuck with you, but I am doing my thing. Like, I started to be like more transparent versus being like, if you don't ask me, I don't tell you. Cause I feel like that's also a, a way to messy. set shit up, you know, for bad. If you don't tell a person like, yo, what's going on? But I feel two ways about that. That's a whole different but story. But no, yeah, that is a different story. But yeah. I do feel like as a grown like woman, mm -hmm. I feel like if you keep it a hundred, sometimes those people respect you more. They like, yeah. yo, they real with me, so I can yeah, ask them this. How, and, how could you not? Yeah. Woo. What's your karma? I know you. Yeah, I can co sign. That was that was a, that was was a tough bad. time for oh, my boys. Oh, it was. It was, yeah. it was bad, y'all. So she cheated on me with Bow Wow. Y'all know this girl. I told y'all about her. The yeah. real live Bow Wow. <laughs> yeah, the Bow Wow. Real. It ain't no Bow Wow challenge. The real shy <laughs> mouse. <laughs> Damn. I ain't, ain't want to buy his do rags no more. No, I ain't want to watch Like Mike, bitch. I Damn, wanna... I did have his do rag. That's why you was being mean to me when I had that sweat. Yeah, do -rag take on. that off, man. You knew that was his do. That do rag was eight dollars. I was like, like I man, I'm beefing with Bow Wow. He don't even know me, bro. Like, let me calm down, man. That be the worst part when you don't like somebody. They don't even know like, you. And it's a celebrity, like, about, like he don't give two fucks about me nor the girl, probably. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, yeah, that's that was, crazy. That was bad karma for me. So my bad karma, really. It wasn't to that You're such a good person. Yeah. I'm like, what's your But worst? my bad karma was just like being sneaky. You know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah. This is past relationships, of course. Like being sneaky, texting old bitches, mm. just texting them. They know I'm with somebody, but just text them, try and hold on, keep them in my back pocket type yeah. shit, <laughs> right? And you know how you do. You you delete the text messages and stuff, and like <laughs> you think you good. But I I remember. So there was two different times. Mm. One I talked about on the show. But I'll go back to. Mm. But um, another time is like, yo, delete it. Ain't talked to this girl like three weeks. Mm. My girl at the time had my phone. The girl texts. And she ain't text you for three weeks, but now I'm Yes, saying. right when my girl had my phone. What'd she say? Was it like some? It was something that showed that like we talk. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It might have been like, yo, I miss you or mm. something. It's, if you see that, what's this? Yes, absolutely. A friend's Who not texting, yeah. Nah. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like, yo, <laughs> what happens in the dark comes to light type, type of thing. You know what I'm saying? And that <laughs> that's why I always say like, yo, don't do it because like your girl might not even be going through your phone. She might pick it up to take a picture of y'all too and it just pop up and you looking at your picture going to end up like this because yeah. like <laughs> shit pop up at the same time you're taking it. For like, real. no. <laughs> and then the second one I talked about on the show is like I was having, I was with the girl and I was talking to my ex and like, it was like, but it was kind of like friend mm -hmm. and still kind of talking, kind of like, she knew I was in this relationship and I wasn't trying to like be with both of them, but yeah. I'm saying slick shit, but I'm also just talking to her as a friend, but this is like months that I deleted on my phone and kept on, and it was on my iMessage <laughs> on the, on, um, on, on my computer. On Mac, yeah. And then my girlfriend used my, comp this is this is when I first like moved to Atlanta, so I didn't even have a TV in my room, right? And so she was like, I went to DJ and she was like, well, I'm gonna watch movies on your laptop. And- um, watching something on that on That, that Mac, girl, right. <laughs> the crazy thing is, is like, it's not like, she read months. Like she probably, that, probably, that girl, it probably took like an hour to go through. Damn, she read it all. Heart, 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 heart. Breaking just Breaking. by the second, by the letter, by the word. Listen. Damn. Yeah. But. Because once you start looking, you ain't stopping. I would have went to that top. I would have started from the top. Like, let me let me follow the timeline. Look. Oh, what's your favorite color today? Oh, we learned about what's your favorite color today. What's your favorite color? Oh, you, bought, you took this bitch to lunch? Oh, yeah. okay. I was at my uh, doctor's appointment at this time. Okay, start they start clocking. breaking. Oh, yeah, and yeah. then you saying you was somewhere. Yeah, it yeah. get real bad, y'all. They do. It get real bad. But then I'm going to tell you good karma that happened to yeah, me one time. Yeah, right? good karma. This is when I was in my faithful. I'm dead ass faithful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, I could say the only time I ever like did that sh no, I'm lying. <laughs> I was about to people. say I was about to say there's been a few relationships that like they was kind of shitty to me, so I kind of mm. like felt like I had to like just text somebody just to even the score. But <laughs> this one, this one, this was a good chick, and I I, I held her down right. Mm. So I DJed at this spot in um in the city I was at right, mm. and this girl out of nowhere she came in. And they, everybody knew her in there. And I guess she just got out of jail. Damn. Okay, yeah, I know that's deep, It was a right? film or like? Yeah, yeah it was uh, a film. Uh, uh, she was like, only studs go, shit. Only studs nah, go to like, jail? Nah. <laughs> only studs <laughs> Nah, it was a film. But the reason I said that, because you know, like when you're in your like city yeah. and like, it was like a bar I was DJing at. So like, you be seeing regulars. You don't, you hardly so ever like, who see. who is that? I didn't say that, uh, okay. but sh th this is the first time she's seeing me. Oh, she like, who is that? Yo, so she was, <laughs> so she was on me, and it was at the end of the night yeah. where, like, I was like done DJing, so I'm like getting a drink, packing up, and all that. Did you and know she, it hit, she had just got out at the time? No, okay, okay. I, but I'm just saying that because we never crossed paths, and I was DJing I there for like it, a yeah. year, right? But I never heard of this girl, nothing, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, she's on me like crazy, right? I'm talking about like too aggressive, like trying to like hold, like grab my hand, touch my hair, hold and, hand crazy. and just kept saying like, yo, she fine, telling the security like, I need to get with her. And I'm like, nah, I got a girl, she I got a her girl. prison break shit. Yeah, she was, she she was, about to... she was aggressive. <laughs> she was in the yard, she's like, yo, that's my bitch. Yeah, she must not have got none <laughs> since she got out. You know what I'm saying? So she was really like, really up on me. And yeah. I kept saying like, nah, chill, I got a girl, I got mm -hmm. a girl. Yo, like a month later, we go into this other bar, mm -hmm. like Lil Hood bar, me and my girl go into a bar. The girl runs up to my girlfriend and my girlfriend hug her and she was like, yeah, this is my cousin, she just got out. Damn, yeah. they was cousins? Yeah, and the girl was like, yo, your girl, I was trying to get with her, but she kept saying she had a girl and she ain't play that shit. Good karma, look and at that. And that shit look, look at that. hey, look I was that. like, Look at yeah. that, nah, look yeah. at that, look at that. Cause it looked good as fuck, yeah, but yeah, yeah. imagine no, for real. how it would have worked the other way, like yeah. me not knowing nothing. Yeah. It gave you my number mm -hmm. and then you run up and hug my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. 
That would have been crazy. That'd it, do it. And it, it's that simple. Yeah. Just like motherfuckers that like, you think you slick and like, you go like to a low key restaurant mm -hmm. with your side joint. Mm -hmm. And they aunt happen to be at that same <laughs> restaurant. Like, y'all, what happened? I see Dark. over there like this. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's not worth it because yeah. karma is crazy. You no, said you had real. a good karma. No, I mean, it's definitely very similar to that. Yeah. Like, um, I was about to, I was talking to someone that I felt like I could be serious with. Yeah. You feel me? I was feeling them. They was really hitting all the points for me. And then while I was talking to them, my ex tried to come back around. Mm. Now, I was very, very tempted to get back with my ex. I was, because you know how it be. Case of the ex, you know what I'm saying? Case of the ex. Yeah, that comfort zone, you feel yeah. I me? Mean? That be feeling like home sometimes. It ain't. It wasn't home, it was gone. It was like, yo, okay. gone, it's yeah. wrong word. You know, in the auto text, home and gone be the same. Nah, I know. Oh, okay, <laughs> shout out to my Nokia's and okay. the users out there. But yeah, so basically my ex tried to come back around and I, I dubbed her, you feel me? Kept talking to the new girl. And then come to find out, my ex, she basically was still on bullshit, mm -hmm. pretty much to come to find out, like still talking to other people, um, still ain't got no money, <laughs> still ain't got no job. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like trying to come back around, acting like she got her stuff together now. They, but then they in reality, sure act like they got their shit man, together. But it's, it ain't too hard to know if a motherfucker got their shit and together. And they, they might have like got a loan real quick and now their car upgraded. Yeah, so, but so it's you like, think don't be fooled. Cool. Yeah. Nah, they can't pay that note. They got a new car, can't pay the note. They got the so, first two months. I was like, yo, if I would have went back to that and I would have missed out on with the girl that I was trying to mess with, yeah. trying to go back to my ex. Yeah. And I'm so glad that I didn't do that. Yeah. Look at me. Give it up. My, my partner, only 10% red flag now. Yeah. <laughs> you know my saying? red flag nowadays, my 10% 10, 10 is like just the drinking probably, I think. I just, that's just me. I like to be outside. That's my toxic zone. I feel that. But I ain't going to lie, like, we not other than no other what? than that that crown apple i used to drink all right y'all <laughs> me drinking don't cause no problems at home so oh I don't no see, no problems at home with you the know drinking, what i'm saying like i mean but, just like well you have had out. incidents not like what 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 i ain't gonna say it on camera what and i got drunk and i got to with my girlfriend no not oh. with your girlfriend not oh, okay with your girlfriend. what you about to say <laughs> oh i hear something <laughs> Say it. Yeah, bitch. I hear something? Yeah, plenty oh, yeah. of times. Oh, yeah. I got to quit doing that. <laughs> I hate you. What I learned is that I will Uber. <laughs> Period. And the thing is, this girl lived right in the city. Like, I'm right yo, around the corner. Why am I hitting an accident? Why am I hitting the mailbox? <laughs> That's the thing. Sure. Why am I pulling up to my house and hitting my thing as I'm pulling into my, my gate? Like, why? This, I was here. This girl hit so much shit. <laughs> and it, I'm not even talking about cars or nothing. I'm talking about, like, her building. <laughs> yeah, I had a, I have a whole hole in my garage still. When I had my Jeep, I was back, I was drunk, backing up, and I just. That's your karma right there. Literally got home though, but like God protect you, but He gonna let your he, ass know like you yeah, tripping. Yeah. And oh yeah. my God, this is something else. Oh my what? God, because I remember I said something like this before, and y'all was like, why? <laughs> I learned something else on Oprah. Oprah. Because <laughs> remember I told y'all. <laughs> Not Oprah too much. is crazy. <laughs> remember when, when we had Tisha on here, I said I learned on Oprah, like when you greet people at the door, like the energy you give them starts the energy in the house. But that's yes. not what I'm talking about. All okay, right. Okay. There's another thing I learned on Oprah, right? Okay, I forget what it was. But basically, God will give you little signs. And if you yeah. ignore it, it'll get louder and louder, mm. right? And the episode on Oprah... I'm y'all. Oprah. How long ago was Oprah? Okay. I ain't never seen that one episode of Oprah. No. Wow. Baby. Grow up. Oprah was gone by the time. <laughs> Grow up. No. But first of all, let me say this. Yeah. I was young watching Oprah. I like serious <laughs> shit. Even when we were just on a plane driving home, she's watching like Avengers. Yeah. I I'll game. be watching like this man murder his wife and. Psycho. Yeah. So. But the, the episode was like, the lady was texting and driving. It was an episode on that. Oh. And she said like, the first, you know, first couple times, like you swerve real quick and you get it. And mm. then you go back to texting. And yeah. then one time she really crashed out really bad. Damn. But it was like, when she looked back, like there was so many signs of like, I'm warning you, this not good. Yeah. This not good. But. Had to get that crash. Yeah, y'all. Watch, go back and watch Oprah. I'm sure it's on YouTube. <laughs> there was some life lessons I learned on Oprah now that Damn. I think about it. Yeah, I never watched Oprah. So I have a question mm -hmm. um, as far as karma, all right? Is it fair to blame victims of unfortunate events yep, by saying that's their bad karma? Yes. 
You think what so? y'all want me to say about it, y'all? Like, what you want me to do, baby people? That's the thing is, like, I'm tired of, like, sympathizing and empathizing when you know you dead was wrong for doing whatever you did. Now, all of a sudden, you want to play victim when it's your turn to get the, the worst side of things. So, when it comes to that, I'll be like, I don't feel, I don't be feeling bad for nobody, bro. I feel that. On the other note, sometimes mm -hmm. bad things do happen to good people. Yes. All right? Not saying everything bad happens is your karma. Not saying that. But I do agree. Mm -hmm. Like some of these dudes that be out in these streets, mm -hmm. it's hard to sympathize yeah. when something bad happens to them or they pass away or something. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, man. everybody's sad, but it's like, yo, little Ronnie was robbing old ladies. Oh, for real. And he just caught the wrong one. That's, that's, that, that conversation has been something I had so many times with people in my hood. Like, it, that can go so deep, yeah. but like, I feel you. Cause I be yeah. on, once I be like, yo, I, it's sad when a person passed away when they are young and yeah. this and that. But like, when they literally were robbing people, yeah. were selling drugs, what did you expect? But then on the other hand, it's like, that's all they knew. It's, it's a really layered no, situation. It it's like, yo, but like, right now, hood, Ronnie like, got his karma. Yeah, all no, right. for real, I mean, I don't, I, hey. And this is a side note, I'll be saying this. If you know Lil Ronnie outside and he got a baby and he just wilding and tripping and that's your man's, like that's your baby dad or something? Yeah. That's your son? Get life insurance on his ass because it's right. not looking like he's going to be here. At least let his life be worth 200000 and get his daughter right. I'm, I'm going to throw that out there. Sorry, y'all, if that's yeah. too real, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want to say that because these, <laughs> these dudes be hustling. They got their no, little 5000 but you risking your life every day. Get life insurance on that man. For real. Okay? And this for is real. just a side note. Mm -hmm. This is like a little moment real quick. Just, it's crazy. Just a few weeks ago, we talked about Beat King. Yes. Ironically, on the No Homo show, I mentioned Beat King. Even yeah. say, like, yo, we love him. And just days after that, we found out he passed away. And that, yo, it's so crazy. Yeah. We were in the car. I'm literally, you can ask for it, literally uploading the clip of where we're talking about B King and his little gay hand that yeah. he had. And Britt's like, oh my God. And I look over, she's like, she showed me, and it said B King died. And it's like, yo, I tried to delete the clip yeah. because I didn't want to make it look like yeah. we're posting this because of, of the news, trying yeah. to go viral off of it. Yeah. yeah. That hey, crazy. do you remember, like, we, oh, he not listening. You listen to it. All right. Yeah. Like, we had just yo, talked about that on we the show. Were, I had to delete it because I didn't want to make it look like, and yeah. then especially on some gay shit. Like, I yeah, ain't trying. Yeah, that wouldn't have that been Yeah, been good, but, but like, <laughs> It was so crazy, but I'm saying all that to say because, like, he was one person that we all know that was a good-ass dude, and he just had untimely death. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, rest in peace, B-King. Rest in and peace. The legacy Houston is definitely going to continue. feeling that shit crazy. Yeah, because that's how we play in the club. Yo, I'm talking club about... Club Godzilla. I'm talking about, look, if it's if it's dead, we're going to throw on some that uh, we outside or some ass shaking B-King. Yeah. Like it's the go-to, yeah. so um, shout Thanks. out to him and, yeah. and, and the whole family. But all right, I have one last mm. karma question or misconception. Okay. A lot of people think karma is a immediate, like like somebody's getting their karma immediately after they do something bad. But I need people to know, karma might come a year down the road. And mm. I, the reason I'm saying this is because sometimes people will cheat on their girl, right? And their girl was a good girl to them mm -hmm. and will be heartbroken and see that person that cheated on them in a happy ass relationship right and you'll be thinking how you do me dirty and you're so fucking happy yeah right listen baby they ain't that happy <laughs> let that time go they ain't that happy <laughs> let that time go because that karma going to catch up to them no for sure because first of all they lose they lose their relationship how they get it mm -hmm. a lot of the time oh, that's a fact. um but also don't believe everything you see on on the Instagram neither. There'd be a lot going on behind the, the, the scenes. Oh. And also too, like your karma might not be the exact same thing. Yeah. So like, say if you cheat on somebody, that don't mean that the person, that your next person gonna cheat on you. Like yeah. it might be something completely different. So yeah. I think that it's very important. Like once you get to a certain point to just be intentional with it. Cause a lot of people don't even really be looking at things like cause and effect or whatever. Yeah. Like a lot of people do feel like why don't everything so bad keep happening to me? When it's like, well, let's sit you down and let's go through your, your track record and how you've been moving as an individual and how you've been putting things out to the universe. Like, cause that in general is probably why you feel like bad Even shit keep happening. Cause you've been doing bad shit. 
I don't believe in nothing like I don't I don't like when people be like why do everything you have to me everything's bad everything's bad I when you have that mindset I want you to really sit down with yourself and be like all right what have I been doing how, how have I been moving Hello? what can I do to change my karma because like I, I truly believe in the universe and what you put out is what you will receive so if you are intentional with making sure like if you feel like bad things keep happening to you Maybe just, you know, look at yourself, look at your life, look at whatever the circumstances is and see where you can work on in those areas to make sure that you get better karma. Because like I just said, that's what I had to do. Sit my ass the fuck down. And stop dating for a while. Yeah, work I had to you. stop dating for a while. Like after that relationship, like I didn't date nobody like for, I was single for like two, three years. But my job, I'm a relationship person. Like I don't even be like, that's why I be in a club with girlfriends. Because <laughs> I get drunk, I say you my girlfriend. I, I like I to have a girlfriend, her. you feel me? So after that, I took time. Like, yo, let me work on myself. Let me get in the gym. Let me start doing certain yeah, things. Yeah. Let me get my life together. Let me start praying more. Let me go to church and listen to the sermon, whatever I got to do. Like, but once you start really being intentional with how you want and how you want your life to go, it'll start folding out for you exactly how you want it to be. I feel like we should end on that. I had a little guidance, but I feel like you did. <laughs> that was the guidance. That was the guidance from the gay guys. I'm trying to tell y'all. Because, like. Life is what you make of it, man. Yo, for and real. And it's easier said than done. But big but on. Life is what you make of it. Yo, big on when you're going through a breakup. Um, and let's say, like, I don't care who's wrong or whatever. You know what I mean? Do Take your time on yourself. Like, yes. so many people want to jump into something new or even just have, like, jump on a dating app, all that. But I ain't going to lie. Mm -hmm. Like, a rebound is cool. But, yo, when you can focus on yourself and, like, you don't have, especially to my studs and shit, when you don't got to pay for somebody's meal and oh, shit right away, you can stack your bread. Yeah. You can work, focus on your fitness. And I ain't mm -hmm. going to lie, meal prepping is hard for two people because that <laughs> other person might not want meal prep. Facts. But now, when you in the house by yourself, it's easy to yeah. grilled chicken and salad. Every day. Yeah, yo, girl, not going to want to do that. She ain't going to want to do that. <laughs> You know my, what I'm my saying? My girl don't want to do that now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, yo, take time and uh, focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. And really, it's so big on even mindset on what you put out, you get back. Yeah. Not even physically or how you do people and shit, but, like, that, like, even how you're saying, like, some people are like, something's always going wrong in my life, but, like, a lot of times they speak very negatively yes. on their selves and other people. Bro, the power of the tongue is real. Come on now. We take it to church. The power of the tongue is real. And okay. perception is everything. Because yeah. I was dealing with this last week with a family member who, who literally texted me and said, nothing in my life is going right. I don't have friends. I don't have a hobby. I said, go find a fucking hobby. <laughs> Hello? If you don't have a hobby, go find a hobby. Like... Y'all can't be sitting back complaining about the things going on around you, but you ain't doing nothing to make it better. I, like, I couldn't believe I was reading that, but I, I, I understood it because I had, it took me a long time to get to where I'm at, to the way I think, to the way I think. Because I, I used to also be a person to be like, yo, why don't everybody around me, like I, it was a point in my time where everybody around me kept just passing away. And I was like, yeah. yo, why don't everybody around me keep passing away? What, am, what is God trying to show me? Like, maybe he's trying to show me to just appreciate my life a little bit more. Okay. And to understand that I don't got it as bad as I think I got it. Because this person ain't even got a chance to wake up the next day. You feel me? So okay. I think perception is everything, y'all. Like, for real. Like, just yeah. start looking at everything. Find a positive in every single thing. That's I'm really big on that. Like, I could have, I don't know. Let me just think. Motherfucker, hack my account. Somebody could break my window. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, well, at least I still got a car. Hello? I'm going to say, at least I still got another bank account. You feel me? I'm not going to. Okay, be, period, bitch. Uh, okay. I'm not going to sit there and be like, You had yo. this one, bitch, the money over here. Okay. I'm okay. not going to sit there and be like, yo, yeah. my life is yeah. over. But that's just how I am. But I just want y'all to really build that. Because it takes time to build that yeah. mindset, bro. Like, it's easier said than done, y'all. But just be intentional with building this right here, bro. You're yeah. going to be living your life like it's golden. <laughs> I love that. Shout out to and, Jill Scott. Yo, just something. <laughs> I hate you. I love Jill Scott. You know she got those little song ass. in there. Hey, Jill Scott, little freak. Dude. All right. Hey. All right. My bad. Like my that, fault. Girl. My fault. My fault. My fault. <laughs> Live your life like it's golden. Jill Scott, little freaky. Just a little freaky little thing. Look, one thing that first helped me with uh, like changing my mindset was studying the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. And um, on YouTube, there's like a little documentary called The Secret. Y'all can watch it. I think it's on Netflix too. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But like, y'all, just look that shit up. Mm -hmm. Look up how to change my mindset on YouTube. No, for real. Hello? Be intentional. Okay. Be so intentional. Um, I think we just gave it to him too I real. We ate that shit up. Okay, I subscribe to our culture. Patreon to get in all of our business because we just vented on there too. Yeah, all right, yeah, y'all gotta yeah. go see what we said on that thing. <laughs> all right, y'all ready to do the whole show? Yeah. <laughs>
whole lot of gay shit. Whole lot of gay, 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 gay. gay. I like that. Boss Brit. We certify. And DJ Excel. Oh.